Well, new details tonight in the inspection of a prison that's being built in downtown Manhattan. All right, the demolition at the location is causing concerns for a neighboring senior center and daycare, and now the city's stepping in. Fox 5's Arthur Chan live in Chinatown with the latest. Arthur. Steve Natasha, we're learning of two main developments today. The first one is that a, spa a safety violation has been issued to the contractor here in large part because after what happened Saturday, they were supposed to report it to the DOB and apparently they did not. The other development is that the city has a fund now set aside of close to half a million dollars. That money will go towards repairing the damage on the far right side here uh, that, that the cracks took place in. But still, that demolition is supposed to move to this residential building, the foot of it, uh, in the coming days. And senior citizens that live in this building say there needs to be a full stop here to make sure that the work, when it proceeds, proceeds safely. A day after inspectors from the building's department were on scene at 125 Walker Street to inspect damage from the city's massive demolition of 120 Center Street, which houses next door a senior center and a daycare, Fox 5 has learned a violation has been issued at the site for not exercising due care. The laws are there for a reason. When a safety manager is on site, his job is to report immediately to the Department of Buildings, and that hasn't been done. Every day that goes by, I feel that there are many more people that are endangered. As a result of the new damage, a partial stop work order posted on the location Tuesday is still up at the massive plot running from Center Street to Baxter Street, which is being raised to build a far larger prison to take in inmates from Rikers Island when it closes. Many in this downtown neighborhood say it's been rushed through at the cost of their safety. Residents in the neighboring building complain of it shaking and swaying from the demolition, which over the weekend enlarged existing cracks and created several new ones along the entire span of the wall on the commercial side of the neighboring building. That construction now moves to the 13-story side of the building, which houses over 100 senior citizens in 88 apartments, including retiree Leon Yuk Ping. I'm worried the building will collapse, she tells us, also saying she, her fellow residents, and the neighborhood is not being heard. We exposed the expansion, they ignored us, and went on with it, she says. They haven't even finished demolishing the site yet, and it's already like this. What's going to happen next? We are very worried. Meanwhile, City Hall tells Fox 5 they are confident there's no immediate danger or threat to safety. And now Fox 5 has learned some $460 million has been set aside by the city anticipating damage the site might cause to neighboring buildings and that the contractor will go in and repair the damaged wall as soon as they're given access to it. Speaking of access, the building management telling us tonight that they wanted their own independent engineers to assess the damage in there so they could know what work needs to be done. They say tomorrow they expect the city and the engineers for the contract over here to be on the property to start the work of repairing that wall that's been cracked. And then on Friday, we're getting early word that elected officials are going to be out here, perhaps calling for a full stop of this project so they can assess how to proceed. That's the latest from here in Chinatown. Arthur Chian, Fox 5 News. Natasha, back to you. All right, Arthur, thank you.